I was made aware of something that's going on with the taxi industry in London. The requirement to possess a certain level of understandable English and uh, comprehension has been set aside, effectively banned. This is a ban that Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London, supports. And you can see him out in the crowd celebrating, shaking hands, doing selfies and all the rest of it. Now, to the rest of us, including taxi drivers with many years' experience, such as myself, you think, hang on a minute, this is uh, not the greatest idea I've ever seen. Maybe this needs looking at once again. So I did a video on it to, one, tell you about it, and then to garner your views. If you think it's a bad idea, subscribe to the channel, because you won't be alone thinking that, I can guarantee you. And what I want to do now is just spend a few minutes going through some of your comments, some of the things you had to say. So here they are. Here we go. Okay, Davy Scales, explain to me why we need a mayor in the first instance. I agree. Why do we need a mayor in the first instance? You know, we went for years and years and years without the need for one. You have mayors in American cities, don't you? And I, I wonder whether that might be where it possibly came from, the idea. But we got on all right before, didn't we? Well, it, what is this? Is this more of this decentralization of powers from central government just putting them all over the place, devolution or whatever you want to call it? It's a load of poppycock. Sebastian, how can Khan be allowed to put the customers' lives in danger? So do you really need a licence, as that was the reason many cabs had to be licensed in the first place? You still need a licence, Sebastian. What it is, you know, there are certain things you have to prove that you're capable of, and they've introduced this in my area as well, one of which is the understanding of a basic level of English. And they're talking about su suspending that requirement. And Sadiq supports it. N nuts, in my view. Blacktop Angel, I'm in Canada, and people are allowed to drive a cab whether they can speak or read English or not. And that goes for lorries as well. Not to mention, if they run for Uber or a company like Uber, they do not need to get a criminal record check. Cabbies are required to, though. That's very dangerous. So, you know, I think that that system in itself is flawed as well, because I, I know of several instances locally where people have shared credentials, uh, you, you know, uh, so that you get three or four people running off of the same badge, particularly people coming into the country. I, I don't think those checks work as well as they should do. And I have to pay for one every three years. So let's have another look at the other comments. Uh, Daniel, funniest thing that happened to me in a taxi was when my granddad said, take me to 40 Elizabeth Way. The foreign driver didn't know how to get there. And my grand says to the cabbie, I ain't telling you the way, mate. That's your job. We made it home eventually, but any direction he suggested, we go, my granddad said, I ain't telling you. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I'll tell you what, I'd have had fits of giggles at that one. Uh, Peter Cousins, say hello to your granddad if, he, if he's still with us. I worked for a private hire company in the 90s who took on a driver who could not speak hardly any English. The controller became so frustrated that he sacked him as he found it impossible to work with him. This guy is dead right. What next? Pilots that can't speak English guessing the route? Well, it's uh, a fair comparison, except one's got wings. Uh, and Anthony Godfrey, deport this yeah, right now. He's disgusting. Uh, Simisola, 4280. That's uh, quite, quite a long one there. And what do you have to say? I shall be checking before I get into London cabs in the future. Can't understand me? Pass on. I'll get the next cab. I can't believe the level of danger this could present for passengers and the drivers come to that. How could they call for help? What if you suddenly had a med medical emergency in a cab? That's a fair point. I've had someone in labour in my cab. And that's labour as in giving birth, not the labour lefty party. And he couldn't even understand the need for a 999 call. Calm, beggar's belief. 
you could be mistaken for believing that he's looking after certain groups, especially as they might actually vote him in again. You do have to wonder, don't you? I've said the question before. How the hell does this guy get in? Uh, user, you, you can tell there's an election on the horizon. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd love to know how many uh, cab drivers there actually are licensed in London. If anyone's listening that can tell me that, please fill me in. Uh, what people should do when you phone for a taxi, you should say, I want a British-born and bred taxi driver to pick me up. No foreigners or immigrants. You know what will happen if you said that? Quite seriously, you'll be banned, barred from using that taxi service. I know that because I've seen and heard it with my own eyes and ears. Uh, and so his countrymen can work. They must be stopped cabbing without all legal requirements now, not tomorrow or next week. This all weakens genuine registered cabbies. If it's a big problem, they'll be out in protest, I can guarantee you. Uh, not what the bad. What, no, what next? Non-English speaking school teachers. We already have a great number of hospital staff who are only semi-literate in English. It will not matter soon when there are enough smuggled over, that's a joke, smuggled into the country, they will outvote us British and we will be persecuted. That will soon follow. Mm. It's very concerning times we're coming into, that's for sure. Uh, Pamela, we need to get rid of this idiot. He's been uh, a ma martyr for too long. We want English people in important jobs in our England. England. English, yes, very much. Ken, question, I read a background check. Say the P word has never been caught, therefore not on record. Then when background check's done, come back squeaky clean. So a not so good idea. Does it don't throw up a potential, just a thought. As I said earlier, Ken, I, I missed out some words because I don't want the algorithm to jump on me. But, you know, people can see what's being said there. I don't think they're entirely foolproof, particularly with people that come in from other areas. Same old chestnut again and again. Uh, let me off this planet. <laughs> I can relate to that. Same thing on the underground. We had courses where Eastern Europeans and Africans who couldn't speak English, read or write English. So had translators, yet we weren't allowed to talk to each other. Nuts, isn't it? The cardigan are. It's so his cousins from the third world can get a job. He's even watered down the knowledge of London for them as well, so they can become black cabbies. <laughs> yeah. The excuse these days, use a sat nav. Why do we need a knowledge test? There's been talk about that around my parts as well. I, I completely disagree. You know, you got Google Maps and everything else, but there's no substitute for good old fashioned local knowledge the cardigan are it's so it's uh, sorry we've got that one uh phil we will be dumbfounded by the number of thickos you think this is a good idea the world's gone mad let's hope enough intelligent people have the balls to vote for change get him out yeah last comment cheeky fingers i love that the ph uh that's private hire hackney industry has been totally destroyed in my area the council haven't licensed any new drivers in months. Instead, taxis licensed in other areas now control the circuit. I quit driving after 12 years as it's become unprofitable, meeting all the new requirements in my area, whilst others could come in and work without needing to meet them. Yeah, that's, you know, the same in a lot of areas. Uh, one of the things that's very true for people that don't know the way the cab firms make their money, they charge a circuit fee and it can be as much as a hundred pound plus every week. Now you can imagine how the number of drivers stack up. They won't give a monkeys about the customers. They just want the circuit fees. That's how they survive. Now that enforced period of shutdown we had for a couple of years, wouldn't have done anybody any favors. And they'll all be screaming to him, we need more drivers. We need more drivers. It's just a constant merry-go-round. That's what I do airport transfers. Gets me away from all that. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, some great comments there. And you'll pretty much say the same as always. You know, very, very common thought around this channel. If you want to watch the original video, all this came from, 
It's right there for you. And uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.